Hi everybody, welcome to the Premier Guns uh, review and we're going to look at a semi-auto today which I'd almost forgotten about to be fair and then somebody commented on one of the videos can you do this particular model and so I thought yeah absolutely it's a gun that was certainly very fashionable a few years ago it's not something that's been at the forefront of my mind for a few years to be fair and then I realized we actually got some coming into stock so I thought great great time to do it let's talk about the Beretta A400 XL multi-target now the A400 XL multi-target was launched back in 2015 and I remember we had a demo day here at the shooting ground and the UK importers for Bretta GMK were here at the time and they'd got one of these multi-targets and no one had seen one before and everybody that shot it absolutely loved it, everyone wanted to buy it and then I remember subsequently a huge, huge wait before we actually managed to get hold of any of these guns. I think since then, um, I've seen over the last couple of years, they've not been quite so popular and quite so so prominent on the um, on the on the semi-auto market but we've always done well with them they've got a few different features compared to the standard 400 so following on from the comment i thought yeah let's do a, an xl multi-target review and here it is so a400 is beretta's uh supremely reliable durable dependable semi-auto action you can buy various um specification guns you can get they do small gauges 20 and 28 they do left-handed versions, they do really big three and a half inch wild fouling guns. And on the continent, because of how popular semi-autos are, I think most people in Italy, certainly in the domestic market for bread to hunt with semi-automatics, it's a huge, huge seller and a massive part of Bretta's production. Obviously semi-autos in the UK have increased in popularity in the last few years. I can remember certainly about 25 years ago, it, when I started in the trade, it wasn't something we ever sold a great deal of. Um, it would be a farmer that wanted to shoot a few pigeons or or quite often because of the perception of semi-autos is very low recall which is you know to a point is true you would get somebody that came and that wanted to start off maybe the son or daughter shooting and they would look for a semi-auto for that reason then and i think i've touched on this on previous videos um in the uh, late 1990s the hatsan escort with the turkish delight as i like to call it was launched and it was so affordable it was like 250 quid i think even less than that at the time and people bought semi-autos because they were all these were almost throwaway money these hats and escorts were and they decided there and then that they actually quite like shooting a semi-auto and since then better quality semi-autos of there's no question in the last 10 years have really really gained in popularity and now most you know half serious clay shooters will have one in their armory they'll have a an a400 or a browning maxis or a benelli of some description now this is different because it was uh, at the time it was the well, i say the first it was the first um beretta attempt if you like at a high rib semi-auto competition semi-auto up until that point you could only really buy the fab arm which again is an Italian manufacturer and they did one called the XLR5 Velocity which was a big heavy thing with a, uh, a high adjustable rib Monte Carlo stock and I think following on from the, the success of that I think Brett thought oh let's have a go at this you know we've already got the platform the A400 everybody likes it everybody knows it let's just uh, mix it up a bit different and let's um, let's try and appeal to someone who wants to shoot clays with a semi-auto on a semi-serious level and this is it so a400 xl multi-target now when the a400 sporting gun was first launched back about 2010 as you'll remember it was bright blue in the action and i you know uh, affectionately know these are the smurfs and they've come a long way since then the new gray one which is the current model which you will have seen uh, a review of which is the ats and the multi-target different again it's got this really nice sort of brushed satin finish which i think looks really really well it's not too flashy it's not blue which you know is, is great from my point of view and i mean that is it in terms of the the aesthetics of the action so where the difference is with the a400 multi-target is absolutely with the stock and the rib so with the rib it is a ramp rib coming off the top of the action and it is fully adjustable so you can change the point of impact now what i mean by that is you can actually change where the shotgun is shooting so if I just rest that on there gently, so where the rib is here, what you've got on the end is you've actually got a wheel and by turning that 
you can change the um, the point of aim on the top of the rib so you can go from from the barrel shooting 60 40 so that's 60 percent of the pattern below the clay and 40 percent above although bear in mind there's only one barrel with this it's not like an over and under uh, or you can have it sort of 50 50 and that's very much a question of uh, playing around with it to your uh, you know what you would need in terms of the, the fit of the gun but also in terms of the particular discipline you're shooting so for example if you gave this to most people because the rib is quite high and because it's got a reasonably high monte carlo stock they would pick it up and they say that's a trap gun but it's not a trap gun because of course it depends on your physical features and attributes if you've got a long neck this is very helpful as i have because of the Monte Carlo stock, which I'm a big fan of. I've got one on my own gun. So, so the idea is with this, is with it being able to adjust the height of the rib and adjust the height of the comb, then by shooting it on a pattern plate, you should get it exactly where you want it. Most people we've sold these to uh, have been for sporting, for ski. So we've set them up sort of 50-50-ish, uh, maybe 60-40, just so you can shoot sort of point of aim for most things. If you did want to shoot sort of DTL and let us not forget that semi-autos aren't it's not really good practice to be on a, a trap layout with a semi-auto yes there's the odd person that does it and if you think back to uh, oh god 10 years ago when Bretta launched that break action UGB 25 XL that was launched for the for the trap market so you could see when it was safe and when it was you know when it wasn't loaded um, never really caught on in the uk because it's quite expensive and it had a few functioning issues but so from a general point of view you wouldn't see a semi-auto when you went trap shooting it would all be break action guns that said if you do want to get this set up high to be able to shoot that discipline it's not a problem at all because you've got the versatility of the adjustable rib and of the adjustable monte carlo stock so i'm just going to take the top of the comb off the stock just to show you how adjust it how you adjust it so this particularly we've got a stunning piece of wood as you can see this is Bretta's standard B fast adjustable comb system so allen key as supplied with the gun okay you literally just drop the top of the comb off you've got a series of washes in there which you can remove or add depending on the height of the comb required and then underneath that you've got the the posts for the windage so you can cast these left and right depending on the required amount of cast. Let's take the, the spacers out for now, put the comb back on. So whereas with most A400 models, they are supplied with a shim kit. So if you've not watched any previous videos, you don't know what a shim kit is, they are literally plastic shims that sit at the back of the action and that will determine the drop, the cast, the height of the gun. So if you find there's not enough or there's too much adjustment in the Monte Carlo on this particular uh, XL multi-target, we can fit a higher or a lower shim again to change the to change the height of the stock. Standard Bretta tackle at the back, which is a microcore recoil pad. I like these pads, they're really, really good. They don't add any weight to the gun, uh, they're cheap you know they come in various different sizes so again from a gun fit point of view whereas the standard length of stock is 14 and 5 8 inches if you're a tall guy you might want a 28 mil pad they even do a spacer so we can get it anywhere up to sort of 16 16 and a half inches depending on what your requirements are cycling the key thing with semi-autos is reliability they are all to a point cartridge fussy but you will not have a problem with a beretta the biggest consumer of semi-automatics is and probably always will be the United States and they don't use little cartridges like we do in the UK so there's never going to be an issue because there'll be no 65 mil and no sort of 21 grams now in the UK 21 gram and 24 gram cartridges are very very popular because they are cost effective because they reduce they, they offer less felt recoil but with a semi-auto of a good quality semi-auto like this 24 grams 70 mil and above should give you no problems whatsoever gas operated like all Beretta uh, semi-autos are so it is extremely extremely smooth to shoot and with this particular model again as in the a400 ats which we've already done a review on it has got the plunger bigger uh, bolt handle and the bigger mag release 
And again, it's just, you know, if you're shooting, you get a lot of people that only sh that shoot clays. We have a lot of customers, for example, that during the summer, they might do a different kind of sport. It gets to the autumn about now and they start picking up the gun and going shooting. Inevitably, you are going to get some wet days. So it just means you if you've got gloves on, your fingers are cold, whatever, you can grab hold of the bolt a bit easier, push the, um, the breech forward a bit easier. And it, it just it just looks a bit funky and it's just one of those things isn't it standard optima hp chokes which is your optima optima barrel so again all designed for reduce you know less felt recoil really really smooth to shoot because remember it's gas operated and the barrels overboard optima hp extended chokes um and that is pretty much it really it's just a bit different the idea with the monte carlo stock is is for a more head up shooting position if i mount this gun Okay, I put it on my shoulder. It's exactly where it should be on my shoulder without having to move my head. There's no, I'm not cricking my neck forward. And for certain people, the Monte Carlo stock is really, really beneficial. Like I said, I've got one on my own personal DT11. It works really, really well for me. But also one of the key things with the Monte Carlo is it's got a parallel comb. So if you've got an inconsistent gun mount for whatever reason, you're particularly because you're new, uh, to shooting is wherever you put your head on that stock you will always get the same sight picture so there's no if you've got an inconsistent gun mount then a monte carlo stock which is why they put them on some of the on the ladies guns because it's more head up um is is can be really really beneficial this particular gun i don't know what grade of wood they put on these because bretta do class them very different to some of the manufacturers but is an absolute belter you can just see that really really nicely figured european walnut uh, oil finished, the checkering the same as the Avo 100 ATS. It's you know it's quite funky looking, and I think as a gun, I think it looks really really well. I've had a Beretta Auto for a number of years. It's not a multi-target. It's one of the old Technus Gold guns, and I've never ever had to spend a penny on it. It's never missed a beat. For what little bit of semi-auto shooting I do, the thing is absolutely bulletproof. And in terms of buying a gas-operated semi-auto, I don't personally think you can beat a Beretta. One other thing, I'm just going to show you while I take the forehand off. Okay, so as with this and the A400 grey, you can actually buy weighted forehand caps. Now these, with them being a semi-auto, they're not massively heavy. We've got two here, a 28 and a 30 inch. And I think the heaviest is probably seven pound, 10 ounces. So if you're used to shooting a, an over under that weighs a lot more, it is gonna be a bit different when you swing it. So with this, what you've got is you've got, there's an M on there. So that's the medium weight four end cap, but you can buy a lighter one and a heavier one. So again, you can get the balance and the feel exactly how you want it. And this is where we're at with modern shotguns now. If you go back 30 years, probably a bit longer, there was no such thing as balancing systems for shotguns. But manufacturers now recognize that when people buy a shotgun, they want to be able to do as much as possible themselves in terms of getting the fit and the balance and the feel right, which is why you've got so many guns that come with spare triggers, spare pads, adjustable ribs obviously i think it's multi choke now and i think um from a clay shooting point of view there's a, it's quite exciting because there's a lot of choice and also like i said you can do a lot of the fitting yourself obviously with all gun supply we do the fitting so if someone's in the shop we would set it up so like i said in terms of recoil these things are almost like pulling the trigger on a pre-charged air off because there is so little movement in them um if you discover that you suffer from recoil and you need even more recoil reduction, then the A400 multi-target is available with the kickoff. Now, it's got the old style kickoff. Again, if you've looked at the video of the A400 Extreme, the new kickoff Mega is the one that comes in the middle of the pistol grip here. So it's a different design to the previous one. But this original kickoff, you can get this on a multi-target. Um, so if you do decide, you want even smoother shooting gun, then I would recommend you go for the kickoff. As I've said in previous videos, I don't think there's that much difference. Personally, I've shot them both, um, but I think I think with some things like this, it's going to be a little bit psychological. So if it works for you, then that's absolutely fine and you should do it. Guns are available in 28, 30 and 32 inch Sporter variants. Well, I say Sporter, it's a multi-target, so it's designed to do everything. That's the whole idea behind it. Uh, and with kickoff and non-kickoff, you will get a standard Bretta warranty, which is three years. But let's not remember, let's not forget with these things is they are absolutely 
second to none in terms of reliability. Bretta Autos for a number and number of years have always had the badge that they are very very reliable and with the A400 and with the multi-target that hasn't changed. I really like it I think it can benefit people, like I said, with the more head-up shooting position if you've got a neck injury, a back injury, a shoulder injury. But also, just from the point of view, if you've got an inconsistent gun mount, then something like this can really, really help you. We've sold a few of these in the shorter barrel lengths to ladies because long necks, high cheekbones, we all know that ladies can be problematic when it comes to gun fit, which is absolutely fine. More on that to come in the future. And... Um, and that, in a nutshell, is it. If you want a, a semi-auto you can do a bit of everything with that's going to be absolutely bulletproof in terms of reliability, looks the part. And also, it's one of those guns that you don't see many of, so inevitably, it is going to be a conversation starter. So if you turn up on the shooting ground, on the ground, on the range, people are going to go, oh, what's that? Can I have a go? And to be honest, everyone that shoots this likes it. Yes, it's a bit quirky because it's got the high rib and the Monte Carlo, which is not for everybody because everyone doesn't need that. But for people, like I said, tall people, people with long necks, high cheekbones, this can absolutely be an advantage. That pretty much wraps up everything about the multi-target. If you want one, you want to try one, then please get in touch. Comment below, come and see us, drop us an email, whatever. If you've got any questions about the multi-target or you might just want your setup, you might have a multi-target and thought, well, I wasn't too sure about the shim in the adjustable comb. Get in touch, come down, we will set it up for you, not a problem at all. Uh, we deal with these kind of guns all the time. The team in the shop, in the shop alongside myself, will uh, we'll get it sorted for you. That's the A400 multi-target from Beretta, a gun that I completely forgotten about until somebody mentioned it and now here we are, we've got some back in stock and uh, they're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we can't do this without you guys. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.